Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up unstoppable domains using MetaMask. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the unstoppable domains homepage, and I'm going to show you how to uh, set up an account, uh, find a domain, choose a domain, buy a domain, and then uh, manage it with your MetaMask wallet. So the first thing we'll do is just get ourselves set up with an account here. You can hit uh, sign up uh, and just provide an email and set a password and you'll have an account. That's pretty simple. I'll go ahead and sign in. All right, so once you've got your account set up, you can go to this left hamburger menu and go to your account settings. All right, now in your account settings, uh, you're going to want to add a wallet uh, so you can get started. Uh, you're going to need a wallet to connect to. Now, you will do that in a minute, right? And I'll show you how to do that using MetaMask. But uh, before you uh, get started, you might want to go find yourself a domain that's acceptable. So let's just go over here to Get New Domain, right? And then you can just type in a domain you're looking for. All right, so I did a little searching, and I found one that's available, right? Now, some of them aren't. You have to do a little digging, right? They may not have your name, right? Now, uh, my first and last name are protected, which just means that they've reserved those. Uh, you can add them to watch list, and you might even try contacting their tech support to see if perhaps, uh, you know, they might release that, you know, let them know who you are. Uh, they just don't want squatters, right? So uh, we found this one. And that's available, just my uh, first initial and my last name. All right, I'm going to get this uh, crypto domain. We'll hit checkout. All right, so in order to claim our domain, we're going to need to go back to account settings and add a wallet, right? Because the wallet is going to manage the domain and all of the links associated with that domain. First, we'll set up our MetaMask wallet. So you want to go over to the MetaMask homepage, and I would recommend doing this in the Chrome browser. The Chrome browser seems to work best with uh, unstoppable domains. All right, so uh, you can just hit download, and it's going to offer you the uh, install MetaMask in Chrome. You just click that and it'll take you over to the Chrome Web Store where you can add the MetaMask to your uh, browser extensions. I already have mine, so we can go over here. And uh, I'll go ahead and get myself signed in. Uh, if you're new to this, then what's gonna happen when you first sign up is you're gonna be presented with a brand new account. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, all right? And then uh, you'll go ahead and create that brand new wallet. Uh, you can see I've got my MetaMask account set up. You can name it accordingly so that it makes sense for you. All right, I've got this called my Unstoppable Wallet. So I always know to make this active. You can have multiple wallets in MetaMask. You just want to make sure that the one you're connecting to your unstoppable domain account is active when uh, we do this, right? We'll go over here and we're going to click Add Wallet and we'll connect with Web3. So we'll just open up Web3 and it should launch. Okay, they're going to ask us to send a code by email. So we'll uh, go over, we'll check our email. There's that confirmation code. We can just copy that into our clipboard. All right, we'll go back over here. We'll paste that code in. All right, and then you'll notice that it launched MetaMask in my browser right away, right? And it's the current one, the one that I had active. I'll hit sign. And then there you can see that that address is now added as a wallet in my unstoppable domain. Now, the reason you want to do this is because uh, this wallet uh, now that it's connected, will allow you to manage your unstoppable domains, right? So let's go over and claim that domain that we bought. I'm going to go over here to My Domains. As you can see there, I've already got one domain that I've already claimed before, uh, but then this is the one that we just bought. So you're probably not going to see an existing one in yours, uh, but you'll see that you've got your domain and that it's unclaimed, right? We'll just click the little tick box there. 
and then we'll hit claim crypto and like I said make sure that your MetaMask is open right that you're signed in and that you've got your unstoppable domain wallet active right in case you have more than one MetaMask account right so we'll hit claim all crypto and first thing they'll do is send you a code by email to confirm it's you there's that confirmation code I'll copy that into my clipboard. I'll come back over here. We'll paste it in. All right. And then the ways to connect for MetaMask, you use the Web3. All right. You're going to say you understand here and click confirm. And the claim process is started. Uh, it's going to take a bit for that to happen. We'll hit view domain. And there we go. We got a pending claim. All right. All right. So I waited a few days and uh, let's go back and check on our domains here. And as you can see, that new domain is now available for Manage. We'll go ahead and click Manage there. Oh, uh, by the way, before we get started, you want to also make sure that your MetaMask is open, that you're signed in, right? And then you want to make sure that the Unstoppable account is active, right? We'll switch over to that in case you have multiple uh, MetaMask accounts, right? So just make sure that the one that you designated as your Unstoppable uh, wallet uh owner is the one that's active all right and it says that it's connected to unstoppable domains right so we'll hit manage and uh, we've got this nice little uh, interface here on all the things that we can do with our uh, new unstoppable domain let's uh, focus on crypto today so we've got several addresses here that we can put in here that will be the destinations for people that send us crypto from supported wallets that are, use the uh, crypto format, right? The rnisley.crypto format. And I'll demonstrate a few of those. But first, let's go ahead and get some addresses set up. So the cool thing about your crypto domain is that you can point it at any Bitcoin address you want. Now the controlling wallet is the wallet that we've got going in our MetaMask, right? This is the owner wallet, and this is the wallet that will need to sign any uh, transactions or updates or anything that you do, right? But you're free to send your crypto to any wallet that you want, right? So as long as it's a valid Bitcoin address. So I'm going to use a Bitcoin address in my Ledger device, right? I'll just go ahead and get that Bitcoin address and I'll copy it into my clipboard and I'm going to paste it in here as the new Bitcoin address. That'll be the address that receives any Bitcoin sent using my crypto domain, right? So I'll go ahead and uh, save changes on that and I'll choose Web3, right? And then MetaMask uh, opens up and asks me to sign. So I'll sign that in using MetaMask and uh, one more, uh, there's a little bit of uh, probably some fees that need to be paid, gas. All right, we'll get that done. And then we've got pending changes. And we can view our transaction here and we can see that our updates are pending. All right, so let's head back over to Unstoppable Domains. Let's check our account. I'll go to My Domains and I'll click Manage. And we're here at the home screen. Let's go to Crypto. And you can see there that that uh, Bitcoin address has now taken. It's part of my settings now. And we are able to send Bitcoin to this address using any wallet that supports the uh, unstoppable domain format. All right. So uh, let's see how that works. So I've got the trust wallet here and there's a little bit of Bitcoin in there. And what I'd like to do is send that to my Bitcoin wallet that I set up. So I'm just going to go to Bitcoin. I'm going to do a send. And then instead of typing or pasting in a Bitcoin address, I'll type in my name. All right. And it recognizes that. That's pretty cool. So I'll just send a small amount to test this out. All right. About 20 bucks worth of Bitcoin. We'll make sure this works. We'll hit next and send. And off it goes. All right, and then here I am in my uh, Ledger-based wallet, my Ledger Live, and you can see that that Bitcoin has arrived. So it's pretty cool. I can send uh, Bitcoin from wallets that support uh, unstoppable domain formats without having to type Bitcoin addresses. And I can send that unstoppable domain to my friends, or I can post it on my website or my YouTube channel. 
so that anyone can send me Bitcoin using that format. All right, let's try a different wallet. Let's go ahead and try the Coinbase wallet. There's a little bit of Bitcoin in this wallet. So I'll just tap Bitcoin, I'll tap send, and uh, let's see how much. We'll send another 20 here. We'll tap next. All right, and then for the address, I'm gonna type my name. All right, so I just typed that in there, and so it supports that format, so I'm just gonna tap that there. I'll go ahead and send $20 worth of Bitcoin to my Ledger-based wallet using that domain name format. And there it goes. Pretty cool. Let's check over on the Ledger side and see what happens. All right, so it came into the Ledger wallet. You can see over here that uh, that 20 bucks worth of Bitcoin came in from the Coinbase wallet. So really cool. Now let's go ahead and set up some other cryptocurrency addresses. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set up an Ethereum uh, address. So I'll choose an Ethereum address uh, from my ledger. You choose whatever address uh, you would like to receive uh, crypto on, right? It's entirely up to you. I'll paste in that address, right? And then there's a lot of other cryptocurrencies that we can choose. Uh, I can put in an address for my BNB, which I think is pretty cool. There's BNB there. All right, I'm going to paste my BNB address in there. All right, let's see what else I can add. Okay, I'll put a uh, BAT address in there. And basically, I'll just cheat. And uh, that's just going to be the same address as my Ethereum. All right, and once we've got all of these uh, addresses ready uh, for committal, we want to commit these to our account. Uh, we want to make sure that we're in uh, the MetaMask and that we've got our unstoppable domain account active, right? So we well, can click up here and make sure that the unstoppable domain account is active and connected, right? And then we'll go down here to Save Changes. Uh, we'll choose Web3. MetaMask will pop up. I'll sign that transaction. I'll sign uh, for the fees, I believe, on the Ethereum network. And then we're good to go, right? And we've got pending changes, right? And once those uh, take, I'll go ahead and show you how uh, sending we can send uh, cryptocurrency to those addresses. All right, and let's head back over to our settings. Now that those changes have taken effect, we can go back over here to Manage and crypto and you can see uh, these new addresses that I've added have now been uh, locked into place right so let's try them out let's uh, try sending uh, some ethereum out of my ether wallet uh, because that is supported you can see over here my ether wallet is supported so let's go over to my ether wallet all right so I'm gonna access my wallet using my ledger device we'll just log in here now I want to check how this works, uh, so I'm gonna like kind of be sending it from one of my wallets to another, but that's fine. I'll use this wallet, and there's a small Ethereum balance here, so we want to go over to send, and we're gonna send Ethereum, and let's see, I don't want to send the entire balance. Let's do 0.03, which is not a whole lot of Ethereum. Now, where do I want to send it? Okay, so let's do the uh, rnisley dot crypto. Let's see how that goes. All right, so I'm going to do the send transaction here. I'm going to review on my device. I'll accept that and send it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to confirm and send. And success. All right, so uh, let's check where it went, right? We want to make sure that this all works seamlessly. Now, in a real scenario, I might be sending it, uh, someone else would be sending it to me, right? Because uh, it's my uh, unstoppable domain name. 
But uh, let's check out the uh, Ethereum accounts and see what happened here. So my Ethereum 2 account should have just sent out a small amount of Ethereum. It was like six bucks worth of Ethereum. All right, and while we're waiting on that one, uh, let's try a BNB send. Because uh, you'll notice there I've got uh, BNB and BAT, so we can actually try both of those. I'll send the BNB from my Atomic Wallet, because I have a small amount of BNB in my Atomic Wallet. All right, so you can see there's the Binance coin in there. Let's go into the Binance coin. We'll do a send. Let's go ahead and type in our domain. All right, it seems to like that. So I'll go ahead and send it all, and uh, off it goes. I need to put in the password of my wallet, and then we'll confirm that, and out it goes. Uh, now, so I sent that out of Atomic Wallet. Now that BNB address that uh, I uh, put in here is the BNB address of my Trust Wallet. So we can check over in my Trust Wallet, and uh, we can see in my Trust Wallet that I just received that BNB from the Atomic Wallet. All right, so that's cool. So uh, we were able to send BNB using the domain name from Atomic to Trust Wallet. Let's uh, try the other way around. Yeah, there's some BAT tokens in my Trust Wallet here. So let's go ahead and send those out using the, do the domain name. Cool. And I, I'll just go ahead and send it out. It's not a lot. I'll send it uh, all of it out. We'll hit Next. Send. All right, and there it goes on its way out. So the BAT address that I put in here is the uh, BAT address of my Ledger Ethereum wallet. So I just sent some BAT from my Trust wallet to my Ledger wallet. Here, and there it is. I right, just came in. So I know uh, it might be a little confusing. I'm sending uh, cryptocurrency back and forth to different wallets, but I basically just want to show you how uh, you can set a destination wallet, any destination wallet you want, in your unstoppable domain name settings, right? It doesn't matter, uh, you know, as long as it's the correct format, you can send it out to any wallet you want. And then I wanted to demo uh, several of the wallets that will uh, support the unstoppable domain name format. So I showed you some outgoing transactions uh, using my Ether wallet, Trust wallet, Atomic wallet, and I believe the Coinbase wallet. So there's a lot of wallets that support this new format, makes it a lot easier to share your crypto address with uh, people that may not be inclined to type or cut and paste uh, long cryptocurrency addresses, and they're much uh, more inclined to remember your uh, crypto domain than uh, a Bitcoin address. So pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.